you've heard about a half dozen things that we are especially interested in Westchester County, but uh, as part of a larger package of some 25 to 30 measures affecting real estate uh, generally uh, that are pursued by the New York State Association of Realtors, and you have a copy of um, what they all are, and I'm sure there will be others as uh, time goes on. Don't panic, I'm not going to review these well for you today, but I wanted you to know it's a resource. If you have questions on any one of them, you can get a hold of me or my counterpart at the State Association, uh, Duncan McKenzie. I did want to mention just a couple of them. I'm not going to keep you uh, long. Uh, among the things we favor is um, doing something about the process of buying a co-op, uh, getting some language that requires co-ops to explain why they turn uh, prospective purchasers down, uh, do something about the timetable on co-ops so that the boards have to act on a reasonable schedule. Uh, we're pursuing something like that at the county level, but ultimately it needs to be done statewide because there are co-ops in the upstate communities, New York City, and Westchester County. So that's an important one on the list. Uh, we thank Assemblywoman Amy Pollan and also Senator Greg Paul for the vested rights uh, sponsorship. Um, that's probably, in, in my judgment, one of the main reasons it's so hard to do anything in Westchester, and I think Putnam too, is the dealings with municipalities who change the rules of the game uh, after the developer starts the process. 